Hey guys, this is a key guide for the Tarbank cash register department key. This key can be used on streets and it currently does not have any known hard spawns, but it can be found in the pockets and bags of scavs, as well as in jackets or in drawers, or you can always buy it from the flea market, typically for between 30 and 50k. And now I will show you guys on the map where you can use this key. So here's a map of streets and the location where you can use this key is in the tar bank, which is directly across from the Lexos car dealership and just beside the Check 15 building. And my PMC will be starting in the intersection at the convoy just outside of Lexos. So we are here on streets and this is the Lexos dealership. Down the road there is the collapsed green PMC extract and just to my right is the Pinewood Hotel. So this store with the blue sign along the top is actually tar bank and where we have to go to use this key. But just be aware that this road is very contested most of the time since PMCs are trying to farm Caban as well as to get loot from the Lexos compound and the Check 15 buildings. But as we are approaching up to the tar bank, then there are going to be three windows that you can enter into in order to get into the tar bank from the front. And there is also an entryway into the back if you don't want to try to enter in from this area. So if you were coming from the back, then you will end up coming out at the back of the Check 15 building. But as we end up coming into the tar bank, then we will be going around and trying to get to the back left of this store where you will have a couple of closed doors there and you will actually be able to use this key to unlock two of these doors. Now the inside of these rooms is going to be identical with there being a cash register as well as a safe in each one. And they will essentially both be full of money, which includes rubles, USDs and euros. Now I do have a trick for you guys that I can show you which will essentially bypass the need for this key and still allow you to get into these rooms. So as I bring you guys over to the other side, you can actually shoot out the glass and jump through to be able to loot the cash register and the safe and completely bypass the need for this key. So to be able to fit through the window, you do have to do it a certain way. So once you do shoot out the glass, you will need to look up, jump up onto the ledge and then crouch down and then look directly down and begin to walk into the room. Your PMC will end up getting caught about three quarters of the way through, but if you do then look up, then it will break him free and then actually push you into the room and allow you to loot everything. Now to get back out of this area, then you essentially just have to jump back up on the ledge on the inside and then look straight down and then begin to crouch walk out until you're stuck. And then once you look up again, then you will be pushed outside of the window and then you will be free to go on to the other side and do the same. Or if you have done both sides, then you will be free to go and then go on about your raid. Obviously by using the key, it is a little bit more discreet and it does keep you on the back side of the building away from the Lexos and Check 15 sides. And the key will absolutely pay for itself after a few uses. So you don't necessarily have to worry about not being able to make your money back, especially if you were able to pick it up for around 30K. But this little trick will allow you to loot this room even on a scav. So just keep it in mind. And I figured I would share this trick with you guys in case you weren't aware. So hopefully you guys found this key guide useful and it did help you to decide whether you wanted to buy this key to use it, to keep it to yourself to use, or even to sell it on the flea market. Thank you all for stopping by and watching this video. If you're still here at the end, I definitely appreciate you. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or Cord in the chat in order to get an invite link and if you don't use twitch then i do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day